Hi guys, it's Sarah. Uh, after watching the documentary on how smart are animals, I was really taken back by the amount of research that has been done on animals to test their intelligence. I think it's incredible that researchers are able to test animal intelligence and that they seem to only be moving forward with the research that they are doing. In the documentary, the dog named Chaser really stood out to me. Of over a thousand stuffed animals, Chaser was able to recognize, by name, every single stuffed animal presented to him. I was really impressed by this. Then, thinking more about it, I'm really not sure I would be able to do the same task. Does this mean that a dog could be smarter than me? I hope not. Although Chaser was able to successfully identify all the, all the stuffed animals by name correctly each time, I wondered if the praise that Chaser received after finding the right stuffed animal had to do with Chaser's continuous success. If Chaser was not praised for finding the correct stuffed animal, would he still be able to find the correct stuffed animal after this lack of praise that he had before? How much positive reinforcement is needed to allow Chaser's performance of finding the correct stuffed animal to continue? In the documentary, there were also dolphins that were t being researched. The dolphins in the documentary were also appealing to me. The researchers tested the dolphins' intelligence by giving the dolphins a task that needed to be processed to then further be able to be completed. For example, researchers had put fish in a cage underwater, and the only way to get the fish out of the cage was to add weight onto the cage and trigger a lever to release the fish. At first, the dolphins were unaware how much weight was needed to allow the fish to leave the cage. But as they figured it out, they began to carry weights by multiple weights, not just one at a time, but brought two or three at a time to allow the fish to get out quicker. This is not something that the researchers had taught the dolphins, but rather what the dolphins had taught themselves. This shows that dolphins are actually very intelligent and have the ability to critically think and problem solve to accomplish a task that is given to them. Alex, the parrot, showed that he had the ability to converse with the researchers that were studying him. Not only was Alex able to speak exactly what was on his mind, but he could understand what the humans that were researching him were studying and saying to him. This is something that a person would not even think twice about a parrot, or any animal for that matter, to be able to do. But back to the idea of positive reinforcement. Was the amount of positive reinforcement that Chaser, the dolphins, or even Alex received for their good work the leading factor that they were able to do the things that they did? Would picking out the correct stuffed animal, placing the correct amount of weight on a lever, or identifying shapes presented to them be possible and remain possible if it were not for the reinforcement that the researchers were giving to these animals after they completed their task. I find that these examples of animal intelligence presented in the documentary gave me a new insight into how similar animals can behave to humans as far as how they process tasks that need to be done and the problem solving that they need to do to achieve the goals. Although it seems like the animals are performing a simple task, it is still incredible that they are able to understand and complete a task that the human is instructing them to do.